Welcome into the DFS Den. Dave Eddy here, aka Corporal Eddy on Twitter. Back at it here for another video. There was what about a four day break there where just between, you know, real life stuff going on and the time that some of these, you know, slates locked, we weren't able to get you a video. Um, you know, I did warn you that there would be some, some times where we'd miss a day, you know, now and again, but didn't, didn't expect four days in a row. So do apologize about that. That is not what you should expect going forward, but there are going to be days where there is no video, but we've got one today. We've got a pretty nice slate as well. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the early slates, but on the weekend, they're not so bad. It's during the week is when they really suck, but we got a 10 gamer here. And let's go ahead and hop into it. There are a lot of pitchers that I like today. So, I mean, gosh, if I look, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 guys I could argue for. Um, probably about five of them make themselves into my actual pool. But the two guys that, you know, I'm looking at the most are going to be, you know, in the in the upper echelon of pricing but not at the top. So I'm looking at Dylan Cease going up against Baltimore on the road here today. And then I'm looking at Zach Gallen. Um, I'm sorry, Dylan Cease is at home. Um, Zach Gallen is on the road against Miami. I like both of these matchups quite a bit. Two guys who can definitely get to some strikeouts. And especially in Gallen's case, a really strong matchup here against the Marlins. Um, you know, other guys that I'm looking at but don't have as much interest in that I think I'll be playing today. Uh, Miles Michaelis will save you some cash. Logan Webb save you a little bit. Um, Alec Manoa save you a little bit as well. Um, you know, on a big slate like this, I'm definitely avoiding two starting pitchers from the same game. There's only a couple of guys that fall into that category that I have some interest in, but of the guys that I'm actually probably going to keep in my pool once I go to, to finally build lineups here before lock. I'm not too worried about that at this point. Let's swing on over to hitters. No pun intended. Cleveland's looking like my top stack on the road in Washington, but going up against Patrick Corbin, that is a fantastic matchup. I'm going to lean into Ahmed Rosario. He's going to be batting right at the top of that lineup there. Usually slides in the two hole. It's a nice righty versus lefty matchup, so I like that. And that's a good guy to go ahead and build around. He's also had at least nine points in four straight games. So definitely a guy who has had pretty decent form here recently. And the other guy I'm interested in here is, as far as, you know, to highlight is Ozzy Albies, a switch hitter, so every matchup for him is good. But he's going up against Zach Greinke in Kansas City. Coming off a three-hit, four-RBI effort. So he's riding a little bit, you know, of, of, of a hot streak, if you will. I mean, you know, he didn't do much in two games prior to that, but hit a home run um, before that. So two of the last four games got at least 16 points. But I do always prefer a guy who, you know, has got pretty solid form. And, you know, with Albie's last game, I feel like he's a guy who, you know, he's going to be in a lineup that I like. Um, he's going to be batting, you know, probably right in the middle of that order, um, five or six, maybe four, but somewhere in that neighborhood. Both of these guys are not too expensive. They're, they're not cheap, but they're right in the middle, um, and they're guys you can easily build around for your stack. So that's where I'm looking today. Please go ahead and drop a like on this video if you're happy that we're back with another one so we can win some more money together. And then you need to do yourself the favor Pop on over here, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you get an alert when a new video comes out. We usually don't have a huge window where this information is actionable, so those alerts can really help you out. I appreciate you tuning in, and we'll see you for the next one.